problem uh, involving distance in a basketball court that also uses the Pythagorean theorem. Because um, one of the greatest features of the Pythagorean theorem, again, is that we have these right triangles, and if we know how long these two sides are, we can always figure out the third side, c squared, or vice versa, we can figure out b squared or a squared if we know um, the other two variables. So we can measure distance. So here's the basketball hoop right here. And we have these two players, this guy right here and this guy right here. Now this guy is shooting to this point right here. And we're told that that's 37 feet. Um, but also this guy, I think we can see that, we, and we know that he's definitely further. So even though he's along the same line right here, we know he's further from this hoop. And what we're going to do is, well, figure out how much further is he, and use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. So I'm going to highlight this guy in the corner with a red triangle, and we can see the right angle right here, which means that this side is c squared, this is the hypotenuse, and maybe this is a, and this is b. Excuse me, this is actually side c, not c squared, that's my mistake. Um, c squared is the square we make from that side, but um, c is just um, the side of the triangle itself. Okay, so now we have this red triangle right here, and we have our original distance of 37 feet here. We're also told that the court is 50 feet wide with the hoop in this, we know the hoop's in the center, I guess. So that means that A is going to be half of 50 feet. So A would be 25 feet. B is 37 feet. And that's also the distance of this guy right here. Let's call him player A. Here's player B. So player A is 37 feet away. We'll highlight that. Um, and side C is our mystery. So that's how far player B is from the hoop. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is going to be equal to C squared. And A is 25, so it's 25 squared plus 37 squared equals something else squared. Now, 25 squared, I think of, well, I use this technique right here. It's a cool pattern, 20 times 30. So that's easy enough, 20 times 30 is 600. But now I added five and took away five. And when you scale that, that's really like adding the square of five to the original number. So it's 600 plus 25, or 625. So 25 squared is 625. Now 37, I can use the same technique. I would do 40 times 34. And I'm adding 3 and taking away 3, so I add 9 back in. Or I could just go through and do 37 times 37. In another way, I would get 1,369. And those two together will equal this bigger square, C square, off this side right here. Right? This huge square right here. So 1,369 plus 625. I could stack them up or take my time. I'm going to use a calculator. That sum is 1,900. And 94 or 1994, comma right there. And that's what C squared is. So we want to know, well, how long is C? It's the square root of 1994. So that doesn't really help us because our original distance, this green distance right here, was 37 feet. Now we know that this other player, B, is the square root of 1994 feet away. We want to turn this into some decimal estimation to compare player A who is 37 feet from the hoop, to player B, which is the square root of 1,994 feet. So how can we do that? Well, we can use a calculator to find the square root of 1,994, or we can get a really good estimation by guessing whole numbers until we get just above and below that number. Um, so if we went through this process, on the calculator you get second and then square root, and then 1994, and we get the decimal of 44.6542271, so forth. So this is an estimation. We're going to round to the nearest whole number, so it's about 45 feet. So you could say that this player is 45 minus 37 feet further than player A, or 8 feet further. Okay, so that's that problem right there. And again, I used the calculator to get the square root. 
um, but you could estimate and guess using whole numbers. It was kind of large, the square root, and it could be tedious.